In this video, we're going to examine some of the changes present in the WYSIWYDL 2.5 update for Turtle Stitch. We'll show you the basics of how to make a design using this program. Let's start simple. Say you want to make a line. The first thing you'll need is a Move 10 Steps block. Give it a click. As you can see, the turtle inches forward, drawing its line behind it. Right now, our line's a little pathetic, so let's make a move a little more dramatically. Let's say, 100 steps. There, that's better. That's what we need, a nice, long, sturdy line. Or is it? This line isn't actually as sturdy as it looks. If we zoom in on it, we can see it's only actually stitched in two places, the start of the line and the end of the line. Lucky for us, that's an easy fix. Let's head over to the new embroidery section. Grab a running stitch by 10 steps block. If we include this in our code, our turtle automatically makes a stitch every 10 steps whenever it moves. Snap it on top of our move 100 block. For good measure, snap a reset block and a when flag pressed on top of it too. Now, when we click our flag, we still get our line, but now everything is nicely stitched into place. It's a little boring though, so let's put our move block inside of a repeat 10 and slap a turn 160 degrees below it. Now we have this cool little star design. That's pretty impressive, right? You should probably sign your work. Go back to the motion blocks and grab a draw text block. Let's say that when the space bar is pressed, the turtle will go to the mouse's X and Y locations and draw your name. Let's try that out. Well, that didn't quite work. Let's see if we can fix it. First things first, the turtle is still at the same angle it was when it finished drawing the star, so let's throw a point ninety degrees into the mix so that the words write themselves in a straight line. That looks a little better, but we still have this big unseemly line connecting our words to our star. Again, this is an easy fix. Go back to the embroidery tab and grab a jump stitch block. We'll need two. Put the first one before where the turtle moves and the other one after. On the second one, flip the switch so that it's red. Play your script. This will make it so that the turtle stops leaving stitches before it moves and then starts up again after. Before we finish, let's check out the x-ray feature. With all those little blue stitch points, it can be easy to get overwhelmed and lose track of how all of your lines are interacting with each other. If there's too much overlap, your embroidery may not come out looking as clean as it does on your computer screen. This is a good way to keep track of that. By this point, you should know everything that you need to in order to start experimenting. See what kind of designs you can come up with. Have fun!